Good morning, Stampers. Today we're going to be making another hybrid card. This one's very simple. It has uh, just one sheet of very vanilla cardstock, one sheet of always artichoke, a few embellishments, a small piece of ribbon, and our graphic is done with My Digital Studio. Now how I created this with my digital studio is I used the stamp brush set that's called Just Believe. I put it on my digital studio. I made, I scaled it down so it would be the size of the original stamp in case some of you would just rather stamp it if you don't have my digital studio. I did it in three shades of Always Artichoke, which if you were stamping it, you would just stamp off and stamp off so that it's lighter each time. I did three of the little sprigs using uh, the stamp from that stamp set just believe and I put a little another one right here just kind of down in the corner let's get started and what I want to show you is how I created the my digital studio graphic it's, as I said it's just the three shades I usually put a little border around mine so that I can per trim it with my personal trimmer and the measurements for that excuse me two by three and a quarter so you'll just trim that out to make it match so let's just put that aside and I'm ready to put my graphic together I have a my graphic cut out as I said at two by three and a quarter I have a piece of always artichoke cut at two and an eighth by three and three eighths and I have a piece of very vanilla cut at two and a quarter by three and a half and we're just going to layer those three pieces together I also have a piece of designer series paper from this. this is the vintage springtime designer paper. It's the one with the little cherries on the back or blooms on the back and the stripes on one side. We're just going to use the side that's the stripes. These measurements are cut the exact same as what we just cut right here for our graphic. It's just going to be the designer paper on top of the always auto choke on top of the very vanilla. So we want to go ahead and make those three layers. Now mats. you can see I made very small borders with my matting this time. Usually I allow it uh, an eighth of an inch all the way around but I wanted this to be very monochromatic with just um, the predominantly green showing on everything with just a little bit of the brightness of the very vanilla so I made my um, margins and matting very very small this time just barely a sixteenth of an inch those two pieces are ready to be mounted to the face of our card the face of our card actually has the tulip embossing folder piece laid down on top of very vanilla on top of our card front. Uh, this is a landscape fold card. So we're going to now just take our green piece which I've cut in a quarter sheet of eight and a half by eleven and we're going to run it through our big shot with our Stampin Ups embossing folder, the uh, framed tulips, and then we'll trim off that frame so that it actually fits our card. So be right okay, back. Okay, now we have our embossed piece and you can just trim this off with your personal trimmer or as I like to do, I just use my big scissors. So we're just going to trim off that one long hump line on all four sides. Now we have that piece trimmed so it's ready to be mounted to our very vanilla piece. And I didn't cut my very vanilla piece the actual size that it's going to end up being because I like to also trim this after I've mounted it and once again we're going to have a very very small mat. So now once you have your green embossed piece attached to your very vanilla you can go ahead and take your personal trimmer and trim off a mat of about a sixteenth of an inch which is what I've left on the other two sides. Okay, and if you wanted the exact measurement of that, if you wanted to go ahead and cut your very vanilla piece, what it is is 5 and 5 sixteenths by 4 and a sixteenth. Okay, now this is ready to be mounted to the front of our card. This is our card base, folded landscape, and we're just going to use, once again, snail adhesive. All right, now we're ready to mount our piece of designer series paper that's been matted. And once again, that's just going to be done with snail and just kind of put that just inside. This end's going to be covered up so it doesn't matter. So just kind of center that on your right side of your card or your left side if you want to have it the other direction. Alright, before we mount our artwork piece to the front of our card, we want to tie our ribbon around it and we're using a piece of Rich Razzleberry and the Rich Razzleberry ribbon is cut oh, 9 or 10 inches. You probably don't even need that much and you can tie it directly around your card but because I like the back to be flat and I want my knot to be perfect, I'm going to use my handy dandy technique of tying it around something cylinder shaped. 
Okay, now that we have our ribbon adhered the way we want it and taped down on the back, this is going to be mounted to the front with some dimensional. It's just going to cover up this end and mount right to the front, just centered from top to bottom. And now we're ready to cut our little flowers and stick them on on top of our leaves. And we're just going to use a scrap of Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And we're going to use our mini punch that comes from the mini punch trio. And I'm using the one that's shaped like a flower. These are really, really tiny. They coordinate with um, the clear buttons that um, Stampin' Up! sells. And I'm just going to punch out two of those and punch them over something because they will jump up in the air and you'll lose them. All right, and I'm just going to stick those on with just a little dot of glue, or you can actually use a glue dot. And one randomly here. Okay, now I'm going to put a couple of little pearls in the center of each one of those. And once again, I'll just use my little tool. These are the Stampin' Up! pearls. They already have adhesive on them. So once you loosen them from the pack, you can just pick them up if you have something like this to stick them with. And... They will just lay right down and they have just enough sticky to hold them on. Down here in the center, and these are the larger ones. The package of Stampin' Up! Pearls has um, three sizes in it. Now we're ready to do our sentiment and I use the stamp set from one of a kind and I'm just using the one that's for you and it has this little tiny little flower that I'm going to color in. So I'm actually just going to use my markers to do this with. So I'll be using the Always Artichoke Marker and the Rich Razzleberry Marker. And the Scallop Oval for the backing. I'm going to be mounted to the front with two dimensionals. And there's your simple hybrid card all finished. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, very simple and easy card, you should be able to make one in about 30 minutes.